YouTube. It is 2017 and we just left the gym. Um, I filmed a shoulder workout, Josh did abs, and it was really, really busy, which is a good thing, but it also led us to talk about something on here that we get asked quite a bit across all of our social media platforms. And that is, I'm working out for the first time, how do I get or have confidence in the gym? That's what we're gonna give you some tips on right now. We know a lot of people are going to the gym for the first time in their life, or maybe for the first time in five, 10 years, whatever the case may be. So, took some notes. The first thing, and the most important thing, is that you need to have confidence in the program that you are using. And I know Josh wanted to talk about this. Yeah, well, I mean, guys, if you don't have confidence in the process that which you're following, then you're not gonna have confidence that you'll get your goal, which you're not gonna have confidence in yourself and it'll obviously lead you to quitting quitting going to the gym. So what you need to do is if you're new and you don't have a program to follow, you're just going into the gym and moving around, I mean, that's fine, but if you followed a program, like say you bought one from us, for example, and you would have confidence that this is gonna get you results. So then that's perfect. Maybe you hire a personal trainer, maybe you get a workout partner. There's a lot of things you could do to get confidence in the process of uh, losing the weight or gaining the muscle, whatever your goal is. So again, if you don't have confidence in the process, you're not gonna have confidence in yourself. So make sure you do that. So whether you buy a program from us or you buy one from somebody else that you relate to, whatever the case is, just make sure that you have confidence in the process and you'll do just fine. Yeah. So it's no different than if you're starting a new job or starting a new hobby or anything like that. You won't have this incredible, like, I guess, confidence in the beginning. You just won't. But if you're following a plan or if you have a mentor or if you have a program that you're following, you will at least have something to look at and something to go off of. And you're not just trying to start from scratch and learn as you go. So if you want to learn as you go, that's totally fine. It just might take a lot longer to get to your goal. Also free classes at most gyms if you want to go that route as well. Just make sure that whoever you are taking advice from, whoever's programming you're using, whatever trainer you're going through or with, just make sure that they actually have a body that you aspire to have. So that's another tip. Um, let's see. So another tip that we have is to get some new workout clothes. If you are going in the gym and you know you're you're kind of just bumming it, you have you know you're just you're just not confident in, in the way that you look and the clothes that you're in. You're not gonna have confidence in the gym. You know it's nice to look good in the gym. So you don't have to go out and spend four hundred dollars on new clothes. But just go to I mean just just go to TJ Maxx or go to you Marshalls. know Marshalls or something like that. You know wherever you have Old Navy even has really awesome stuff. Just get some new gym clothes and I promise you you will feel really 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 awesome in the gym because I know you know sometimes I'll go do cardio and I'm slumming it and I don't really have have the confidence that I usually would have in other clothes. So that's a tip. Well, you know what they say. What? Look good, feel good. Yeah, look good, feel good. Uh, another tip is to have confidence in the gym is to make a good playlist. We really like to use Spotify. It works on our watches and stuff. Um, but it's just, it's nice to change it up, get some new music. They have like a ton of like whatever's popular right now lists. I like recommendations yeah. and based on things that you're searching for. It can really help you build a sweet playlist. And continue to change that and evolve your playlist. You know, you want to add new music and things because again, it all needs to be something that makes you look forward to go to the gym. If you're listening to the same song over and over and over again, and it's just becoming dull and boring, you're not gonna really be motivated to go to the gym and listen to that music. But if you got a new sexy playlist that you're pumped to listen to, that's gonna be awesome. That'll be a really good place to start, is getting a new playlist. Yeah. Hello. So, okay, so I'm just looking at my list. So also, the last, I guess, and the most important in my mind thing to remember when you go to the gym is that literally no one is looking at you, ever. Literally ever. Unless you're trying to draw attention to yourself by doing like backflip burpees off the cable machine and then jumping onto a bench and then bench pressing the bench and flipping yourself around and being just a lunatic. Why are no you one, telling about my workout earlier? Yeah, no one is going to look at you. I promise you. How many people did you look at today at the gym besides me? Um, I actually looked at one guy. Yeah, a guy. Because you probably thought he was doing something cool. 
Yeah, he was hanging upside down and yeah. doing crunches. So yeah. unless you're hanging upside down from a bar with brackets on your feet, I was looking at that guy. Yeah, but. because that guy's intriguing. Um, but there were probably mm, 300 people at the gym today, no lie. And I didn't even notice one person. I noticed the girl next to me because she was also doing shoulder press. And I said, oh, that girl's doing shoulder press. I didn't say, oh my God, what a loser. Look how she, look at her form. She's such a loser. Look at her shirt. Ew, loser. Let's tar and feather that loser. No, <laughs> no one looks at you. I promise you, we've been going to the gym for, I've been going to the gym for about half a decade. I can probably count on one hand the number of times I've looked at people who weren't throwing themselves around like an ape at the zoo, literally. Uh, can, I, can I make a confession? Go for it. I look at you all the time. Yeah. The okay. Besides Josh, yes. Besides Josh, I, I kind of like creep that. on you. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's all right. Um, <laughs> so just to reiterate, just go in the gym. And you know what? If someone looks at you and judges you, that is their problem and not yours. If someone has the time to sit there and judge you at the gym because you're trying to better yourself, they're the loser, not you. So I promise you, they're not having a good workout if they have that kind of time. Because I don't have that kind of time when I go to the gym. I don't have that kind of mental capacity to sit there and be like, oh, who can I judge today? No, that's not the case. So good people will not judge you, and that's the only opinion that you should care about is the opinion of good people, not the opinion of losers who try to sit there and judge people at the gym. So just to recap, one, have confidence in the program that you are doing, whether that's a program from us, whether that's a program from someone else who is certified, whether that's a trainer, whether that's a free class, whether you find a workout partner that knows what they're doing, just have confidence in what you are doing because once you have confidence in what you are doing, you will actually start to see results and then it's just a snowball effect. Once you see progress and once you see results, you will then have more confidence in what you're doing. Get some new workout clothes, get a good playlist, and just remember that no one is watching you, no one is judging you, no one is is sitting there trying to find something wrong with you. So if you just, and yet, never be afraid to ask for help, that's something else. Like, if you see a machine and you don't know what, what how it works, there's a lot of machines like at different gyms and I'm like, oh, I don't know how like this moves or anything. I usually ask Josh or I ask a trainer or, you know, just don't have that stigma where you can't ask for help. Yeah, honestly, like, you, if anyone ever came up to me and said, hey, I don't know how to use this, would you show me how to do it? would do it without question. Yeah. And I'm actually really excited to help people and 99.9% .9 of everybody would be the same way. Yeah. So you see some seasoned veteran in there that you know has been working out a long time and you're like, I don't know how to do a shoulder press. Nine out of 10 times I would that say person, 99 out of 100. Yeah. Yeah. They would be like, yeah, let me show you real quick. Yeah. You know, and I don't abuse that and say, will you train me during this whole workout? You yeah. Know? If you do ask someone for help, just make sure that it's during their rest period. Don't walk up to them in the middle of a workout because that's also quite annoying. But if someone's just, you know, if they're on their phone or if they're just, you know, taking a rest, don't feel bad about asking them for help. I love when people come up to me and say, hey, what was, what were you just working on or what did that exercise just do or can you show me how this cable attachment works or anything like that never feel like you're bothering people if they're just sitting on their phone or during a rest or even the trainers a lot of trainers will walk around and try to help everyone so hope that helps we're gonna go run some errands uh can we just show them at this upfront parking i just got josh gets a lot of up front parking. always get parking up front check it out i mean you cannot get a closer spot you can't i mean that is perfect it's perfect Someone got a new toy today. Oh yeah, the new MacBook Pro with the touch bar. Nice, you so excited? Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Do we not have enough computers? I know, and there's like three upstairs. Hey, as long as you're excited. I'm excited, well, I mean, this has got that crazy fast processor. Jerry, what do you think? Look at Tom and his pretty cheekbones, oh boy. We just finished running errands and now I'm going to prep a ton of meat for us just using some venison from some beer that we got and preparing it in the cleanest way possible. So I'm doing, I don't even know how much this is because we weigh our meat when it's cooked in the pans.
here is a little tip for you guys when it comes to getting the most out of your food. So I want you to watch what gets drained from this fat, or from the meat. That is all pure fat. So one thing that'll really help you guys out, a lot of people just throw that into a tub right there. That is not what I recommend. Watch, I rinse mine. As you can see, all that fat, AKA calories, getting drained from this. All of the meat is cooked, drained, rinsed, and now I'm gonna add this. Well, I'm gonna use half to this. Because breakfast is life. We just got some new isolator containers, the colored ones. So this is my breakfast sausage meat and then plain meat. And so I will measure out everything. Josh will have the green for his plain meat. And then I will do purple for my breakfast and then red for his breakfast. Josh needs seven to eight ounces of meat at a time. Four ounces for me. How's the meat? Mm. Mm. So good. Are you working? Okay, so my last meal is gonna be an egg. I'm gonna make an omelet. I'm going to use my breakfast sausage venison ground meat that I made earlier and then top it with some salsa. Right, last meal of the day. Now it's time to edit. <laughs>